Holy Breeze is definitely not best healer for Mythic Dungeons, but he's very simple. He's quite fun to play. So let's start with the stats. From stat wise, Beth is definitely haste, then is versatility, third one is critical, and mastery should be as low as possible. In raid with Holy Priest, you want to go master and critical strike. So it's completely opposite what is good in dungeons. It's not best, but it's still playable. Like it's not like other healers that are really bad to dungeons when you play some different stats. It's okay with Holy Priest, but definitely haste versatility is much more important. You don't play haste in raid because it's costing you a lot of mana in dungeons, you want to heal fast and you have time to drink mana back. And versatility you definitely need for survival because as priests you don't have many defensives. But it's absolutely quite crucial to have enough versatility. Then the rest we can just pump to critical. Let's have a look on talents. This is usually what you want to go. Almost to every case, every question, every dungeon. But there is little change when it's incorporeal affixed, you need to control ghosts. So then you really want to go for Shackland that maybe you want to have two. It's much easier to have two with the Disco Priest, the Holy Priest, a little bit longer path to it. Uh, what to sacrifice is you can take from defensives. If you are very high key, you shouldn't really, but if you need it, you need it. Or you can just take a little bit from play or mending. It's not a big deal. It won't matter that much. And you should put it to check on that. If you really want double, then you need to go slowly over down here to get dominant might. But usually one is enough. This one is decreasing damage taken, damage done by enemies, so it's quite nice to have, but you need to remember you are sacrificing some different kind of defensive instead of your personal one. If you want to have exactly this talent, the link will be in the description, so I just can copy it. A little bit note on the right tree. If you have rate stats, so we have a lot of mastery, then you just go this talent instead, it's increasing effectiveness of mastery, so if you have a lot of mastery, because you're focusing more raid and holy prison raid. Not the greatest choice, but hey, you have that master anyway, so let's have a use. And at this point, you don't really need here, it's just to get down, so Divine Him is not best, but it's not think better, you can choose there, so just go for Divine Him. But everything is about this Echo of Light. Moving on, rotation gameplay priorities, whatever you want to call it. So, very quite simple with Holy Priest, and we have also new four piece and that 4 piece is absolutely crucial to be nice and effective with Holy Priest. So first Thomas priority is to spread your player mending. You shouldn't click it when you need to heal right now. If you need to hit AoE, good way to do. If you need to heal single target right now, just heal the target and after that you place it when you have a little bit more free time, let's say. It's not only important some passive healing. What is really important is when it's jumping, so when target takes damage, it's a chance to leave Renew on the target. Renew is another nice passive healing, but Renew have a chance to activate your set piece, and that set piece making your Holy Board Sanctify, and Holy Board, no, Sanctify is here, Holy Board Serenity, to be free of stack cost, so you don't use your cooldown. So play of Mending is not just for some passive healing, it will heal decently, but it's also here for of your effects of your set pieces. Second priority is power reward life. You cannot use it most of the time, you can only use it on target that is below 35% health. It's quick, fast heal, so it usually starts with shining when somebody is under that target and just immediately use it because it's just effective heal. No bad on clicking it, cheaper mana, healing a lot. So when you have opportunity to use it, definitely go for it. Then our Huge heals is our Holy Board Sanctify and Holy Board Serenity. So, they are the same priority. It's just depending if you need to heal single target or AoE. So, of course, Sanctify is AoE and Serenity is single target. A little bit lore about them. When you cast them, they will put on the targets healed, they will put the Renew. The Renew is healing nicely, but also you have a chance to activate our set piece. About the set piece, so when it's activated, we got one proc. You can have two charges, so two procs ready, and I already have one. It's one limited duration, so you can just prepare it ahead of time. And bound list is active. I have two stacks, Serenity. When I use it, it will consume stack from the legendary, and my stack is not consumed, so I have still two stacks to use. So that's what the set piece is doing. It's just saving you to wait another minute for your cooldowns. So that means it's quite useful to keep always one stack ready. 
because then you get proc from legendary and you can immediately use it without using it. Then you use last stack and you have proc of legendary, you cannot use it. Who do need to be ready at least one charge to use it? So it's quite making sense if you want to keep one stack because it's quite a good thing to do. If you need to heal and you really need to heal more, then just use the last stack. But if you can choose, all right, I will just heal with something else and I will keep this stack so it's ready when I have proc from set piece. Because now I have one stack, but it's just not ready. Cooldown is not ready, I cannot click it. I can use AoE because that is ready. So it's nice to keep one stack. If you really need to use it because you really need to heal a little bit more, then use the last stack. If you have a chance to just, oh, I will heal a bit, just flashlight. Yeah, just heal with the flashlight and keep one stack in a case exactly have another proc of set piece and then you just use it via consuming the last stack. If you have two stacks, yeah, definitely. You are good. There is no reason to not use that two stacks if you just have already one stack, think about it. So next obvious priority is flashlight. Sometimes you have free cast, free of mana cost and it's instant. Yeah, just use that. But it's nothing special that all oh, I have it. We are always using flash of light, so when you have it, you will use it naturally. You don't need to think about, oh, I should use it now because I have that proc. You use it because that's your basic spell. That's what you are casting. That's how you are healing. Of course, we have big words over here. Them we are using, but when we need to heal just a little, whatever, just don't spend word, keep it for later. Or when we don't have stacks for the board or, or our boards, then when we use it, also our flashlight is decreasing cooldown. Of our serenity. So this is basically I feel like this is what we are doing. This is just like some big cooldowns. Of course we are using them first, but then what we are doing just casting a flash of light. Even when we are healing AoE and we don't have holy board sanctified, we are still healing flashlight. It sounds weird but that's how it is. It is our AoE also. Of course we have other mechanics like way of mending that are pumping that AoE to you but yeah you are just spamming flash of light. So if you don't have some cooldowns and you have a prayer of mending on cooldown, then just spam flash of light, spam, 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 and keep usage of your standing stacks because you are recharging that faster than you are casting of flash heals. We have also Holy Nova. Holy Nova on its own is not that good, but we have many stacks, that is every stack is increasing. So usually you are sitting on 20 stacks, they are unlimited duration, and your next Holy Nova is damage and healing is increased by 400%. And that's the Holy Nova that is worth to be used. So I have a nice Vigar for that. And it's, I would even say it's priority before the Divine Star or the same priority. When you have 20 stacks, just use it. It will do nice healing. It will do nice damage. 20 stacks, use it. And it's something to damage or something to heal. Even on single target damage, it's still worth it to click it. I can stand between the packs. Well, between the packs, between the dummies. I'll click one Holy Nova. Bam. 300,000 DPS, 300,000 healing. Well, this is a little bit from Echo of Light, from Mastery. This is versus one trigger of Holy Nova. So definitely, before you use Demise Star, it's even priority, it's better than Demise Star. But basically doing exactly the same thing. Little damage, little heal. And I think overall I had quite decent. I mean, Holy Nova. Uh, where is it? Quite high. It's 60% over heal anyway. So definitely better for healing and for damages also. Quite insane, 20 millions almost. So, definitely, it's not like something, oh, I'm healing, I'm clicking it out. You see it ready, you click it, you don't need to think about Holy Nova. And our last priority, because it's not healing that much, is our Demon Star. It's doing a little bit more damage than healing, usually, because healing, you want to use it on cooldown, it's 15 seconds, not so expensive. You just want to use it on cooldown, so usually you will see a lot of overheal, but that overheal doesn't matter that much because you use it to some nice little extra damage. So one Demon Star is 100,000, very decent damage. That can be done with the healer. Of course, more targets, the better. But yeah, while you are doing damage with that, it's some nice passive healing. Uh, I have some dungeon here, whatever, Evil Boom. Like, it does a little, but you know, it's 60% overheal. But still, little extra heal and damage should be much higher than that. Of all those bosses that are increase a lot of damage. So maybe that's what is increasing, but there is a lot of big packs. So that's where the damage coming from. Little excess about what you can do. You have 
field. It's a little cooldown, 5.4 seconds depending on haste. This is not your some main heal, it's not something you are clicking with the Holy Priest, we are not Disco Priests. So it's much lower priority, well, it's, I wouldn't even say it's priority. It's something you want to use and it's about to survive or not survive. If somebody needs a little bit more, some big abilities coming or you are priest, you don't have many defensives. You have faith for 10%, usually you have 10% for healing condition. Flash of Light does de defense by 10%. And you don't have much, you don't have strong defensive, so this is things you can do to have a little bit shield on yourself when some big AoE damage is coming, like big burst damage that could instant kill you, you put shield on you, that will help you a little on the layer of defensive. So that's a little bit extra, it's not really healing abilities. Use it only when it's like question life or dead. When is some explosion coming? And then a little trick is using Renew. We shouldn't cast Renew as I literally just click Renew because Renew is spawning on its own from our other abilities. But when we are running between the pegs, we have nothing to damage, we have nothing to do, we are literally just running. There is no bad idea to just click a few Renews on the group if you have full mana, of course. Just don't spend mana on that. Oh, it's quite cheap anyway. Uh, why you want to do that? I will do little healing, but usually overheal because we are running between the packs, so maybe people are full. It's to have nice stacks. So if you have free time and free mana, just click renew to get an extra chance to your set piece to be ready in next pool. And that's it from main rotation. It's very simple. We are using few abilities. You only need to think about of your holy words and just plan them accordingly. Otherwise, we are just spamming abilities. Spamming flash of lights and then you have payoff mending. You click that. Now we have some cooldowns, we have just few. Not bad. So we have Guardian Spirit. What is Guardian Spirit bring? We will save somebody who will die. It will prevent that. It's cheat that. Same as Rogue. Same as Purgatory that night. So when somebody should die, instead of that, he will get healed by 40% of the maximum health. But it's not only for targets that are about to die to just save them. There's also a second mechanic that is reduce cooldown by 2 minutes from 3 minutes to 1 minute if the target won't die with Guardian Spirit. Darming Guardian Spirit it can also be used on the target that is getting heavy damage and you need to heal a single target like he's getting two roots on tree both in Baker's Manor and you just click on the target because Angel is increasing also a 60% healing taken. So you can definitely use him to increase your healing. This one I have 3 minutes cooldown because these target dummies are not so dying, they are just programmed like that. They are every, I don't know how second they are dying, so I didn't go 1 minute cooldown, but usually you have so much healing increase, but this, this 60%, you you will just heal it easily and then won't die. So really nice. So we can use it quite often. If it procced, then you have 3 minute cooldown, but still, if it procced, that means it's saved somebody's life. So still useful. So. Then we have another cooldown. And it's our only, I would say, healing cooldown. Well, Guardian Spirit too, but Guardian Spirit can be used only on single target. Apothesis is our thing we want to use when we are low on Power Wars stacks. Well, Power Wars Sanctify and Power Wars Serenity. What that cooldown will do is oh, we use our big cooldowns. We are almost dying. Well, we don't need to die, but it's on cooldown and we really want to heal much more. Then we click Apothesis, we'll instantly get one cooldowns for each. So that's one big thing that will happen. So we can instant blast, big boys. And it's also increasing how fast are our cooldowns are charging. So, oh, it was, it's perished. But it's around there, you, you could see it was almost half of the minute. So when you have Apothesis, your cast of Flash of Light is reducing cooldown of Serenity much more. So when you got it, you get three cast, well three cast, three stacks for two of these strong power war abilities. And also our recharging is much faster. So you want to instantly use them and then we just spam flash of light and it's recharging much 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 faster. This is 300% lower. Coolam is giving you 300% faster recharge, so absolutely massive. So we just got like two or three flash of Heals and then you can just blast another Serenity. Our next one is Symbol of Hope. It's giving you a little bit of mana. 
is not very practical because you need to channel it three seconds. That's quite a long time. But you need to think about it. It's not about mana. It's about decreasing cooldown of some strong defensive for everyone in your team. So think about that. And that's what is the strongest way of this cooldown. It's not something huge, but you know, you have it anyway. I see it's quite nice. And if you have like heavy damage or there's some boost phases and everybody use already the defensive cooldowns, this is definitely the way to go. It will decrease also yours. It will help a lot. And of course, our most wanted cooldown is our power infusion. So now it's again left, but still it's huge. And we are giving it to another target and we'll get one extra free one from Twins of the Sun's Priestess talent. So you always get one. And you shouldn't think when you're using this cooldown about your cooldowns, you should think about some other people cooldowns. So nice to see DPS cooldowns what they have. And just pick your target, we will be getting it. Watch his cooldowns. He is popping in them. Just click PI to increase their damage. And you have also haste, so you can heal more, you can do more damage. And as the last cooldown, we have Shadow Field. Yeah, it's not Disco, it's not as strong as Disco. I still will do some decent damage. You will return a little bit of your mana every attack. And if you have this talent over here, where he should have, then he's healing every auto attack he will do. He will heal by 45,000. And that's quite decent healing. So you just can fire it and forget it. It's nothing huge, it won't carry you, but yeah, just keep using it regularly because it's definitely helping. You can see this is his hits, 71,000, 71,000. This is his auto attacks. It's definitely decent. Only a little bit about damage, so let's say Holy Nova we are already using and Demon Star we are already using, but yeah, let's count it to DP rotation 2. So Empyrean Blaze are one minute cooldown, costing no mana, definitely. When you have it, you are using it. A little bit note about Holy Fire. Holy Fire is also share damage to other in AoE. So it's also doing damage over time. This is sharing damage only by its initial damage. So when you cast Holy Fire, try to cast it to somebody who is in the middle of the group. So we will do AoE. So our priorities for damage is Imperium Blaze when it's ready. You want to use it. You want to shoot those Holy Fires. After that, we have still Master Go Holy Fire. We will use it, then its priority is just ice. After that, we are going with Holy Nova, we have 20 stacks. After we, if we have cooldown, we are definitely going with Demon Star, but we want to have at least 3 enemy targets for Demon Star to be useful. And then we are just spreading Shadow War Pain. It's better than Smite, so if target will live for whole duration, it's better than Smite. If Pegs is just dying right now, just it's whatever. You will just spam smite, and of course, last priority is just keep from smite. It's usually what you will single on when you pull group of enemies. You want to put pain on the start, and after peg will start dying, then you just click smite because shadow of pain won't do more damage than smite after it won't be whole duration. So, think about that. That will be all for me if you want exactly this guide in text form. Just hover my Discord, everything what I said here is there, just in written form. And thank you for watching, think about liking, subscribing, and goodbye.